All right. Signing my first pair of boobs is closer to sort of 15 years old, which was an acceptable age. Just. So I often would tour as a youngster and it would be my parents would be with me. And I couldn't, I couldn't connect with any girls, like, I, like not with the parents around. It was, and I had terribly low self-esteem when it came to girls. But when we went to Cairns one particular time, my mum didn't come. It was just my dad this time. And we're playing Jono's Blues Bar. And I'm up on stage and there's this gorgeous girl in the front row. You know, it was just classic. It was cliche. She's giving me the, the eyes. You know, and then I'm going... Nah, anyway, so I'm just kind of looking and she's looking at me and I've got fuck all self-esteem with girls. So I, uh, and I and I get off stage and we're all chilling out in the band room with my band. You know, we're having a chat post-show and there's a knock on the door. And the security, uh, it's a security guard. He goes, oh, Nathan, there's a girl here that wants you to sign her boobs. And I, you know, I'm sure my, I felt my face just kind of flood with blood and I'm like, uh, yeah, <laughs> I, I can't do that. <laughs> no way. And there's like this one really perverted part of my brain that's going, fucking do it, get him out, fucking sign him. And also you, you got to remember, like my, my, my parents brought me up to, you know, you, you don't objectify a woman. It's, it's about respect. And, you know, I was, I was always about love and, you know, my hormones were this other thing and I, they never really, they never really worked. They conflicted so much because you've got like literally hormones that are literally a kind of hinged on objectified nature of, you know, the, the, the species that you're attracted to species. Did I say species? Um, the sex that you're attracted to. But then the other side is is about respect and love. So to have somebody say they want me to sign their boobs was like, you know, I have one part of me going, yeah, and the other part going, no. So anyway, I was like, nah, um, um, you know, I can't do that. And he and the security guy's like, you sure? And I was like, I'm sure. And he's like, okay, cool. About an hour later, um, he comes in again. He's like, listen. Everyone's gone, but this girl won't go until you sign her boobs. And I'm like, like, I can't. And, and then I look to my band for support, you know, for the encouragement to, to say, you know, dude, you know, he's not going to do it. And they all went. Mm. <laughs> and then I'm like, well, fuck, you're no help. I turned to my dad and he went. Mm. <laughs> and he said. Nath, it'll be one for the dinner table. You'll be telling this story forever. And I went, Dad, like, seriously? And I'm like, wow, everyone's encouraging me to do this. And then the, the devil inside me is going, see, see, go on, do it, do it, do it. And then I start to entertain the idea and I'm going, well, how how am I going to do this? Like, like I'm, I'm, I'm going through the motions. Like, where am I going to sign them? Am I ready to see my first pair of boobs? I hadn't seen boobs before other than on the TV. What do I do? And the security guard's like, so you want me to bring her in? Um, yeah. Okay. In walks the girl from the front row that was giving me the eye that I thought was a major babe. And I was like, oh, shit. The band fucked off. My dad left me. The band, they all just went. And I'm like, no, where, where you were going? Don't leave me alone. And so she came in. Like, I was trying every way possible to avoid her asking me to sign her boobs. I was just so shy. I'm talking about everything from where I grew up, the flight in, the gig, my favorite guitarist, you know, my best friend Daniel. And eventually I ran out of things to talk about. And she's like, oh, yeah. Anyway, I just thought, you know, um, I, I'd love, I really love your signature. And I'm like, yep, cool. Who do you want me to make it out to? <laughs> And then she grabbed my hand and she goes, nah, I don't want it on a piece of paper. And that was it. I couldn't avoid it. It's like in my head, I'm like, this is happening. This is happening. And, and then that's it. Unbutton the denim vest that she was wearing. And then I'm like, okay. Like it. And I went to start sort of up, up her, at her neck. I just had so much respect. <laughs> and she just pulled my hand down and then I signed them. And my heart is beating like a million miles an hour. And then she asked for a kiss. So what did I do? I kissed her on the cheek like a lame ass. And then, and then she gave me a hug and then, and then left, right? So we decided to pack up. We're all walking out. 
I'm at the end of the pack and I've got two guitar cases like this and I feel this hand grab my shoulder and it was her. She pushed me up against a pillar and she planted the biggest kiss, tongue and all, on me and then slipped me a business card and she was working the reception of the hotel next to where I was staying. And she said, give me a call later. I'm like, okay. So um, I'm sitting in the bus and I pulled out the card and then that's when dad stepped in. Parental morals, ethics and stuff kicked in and he grabbed that card and he said, okay, you've had enough fun, buddy. That's, that's enough. <laughs> he was probably like, hey. <laughs> So there you go. That was my experience signing my first pair of boobs.